In this video, we're gonna be detailing the absolute basics of RemNode. So the folks over at RemNode reached out to me and they asked me to make a series of videos detailing how to actually use the application and how I use it. And I decided to start with the absolute basics because that way we can figure out the different terminologies because the application has a lot of quirks and a lot of words that they use that are not usually seen in the note-taking spectrum. So let's get started. So the first key feature of RemNode that you need to know is that the app has zero structure. And that basically means that you can write anywhere and everywhere, which allows for connected thinking. So you might be thinking to yourself, how do I actually organize my notes and how do I actually keep everything in its place if there is no actual structure? Now, the way you do that is by using something called rem references. So in this bullet point right here, you can see that the words rem references are hyperlinked. And this basically means that I've made it into a reference. And the way you do that is by just typing out the word, but with two square brackets before it. So I can just type out square bracket, square bracket, and let's type Apple. And uh, I've mentioned Apple somewhere here. So you can just hit Command Enter, and that's gonna make it into a reference. And if we go into the RAM References link, we can see that it's actually a page. So we can either double click it to open it as a document, or we can just shift click it like so to open it on the side. So basically, RAM References allow you to link notes together. And you can see that here, there is a small little portal where it said that this note specifically has been referenced in one page and that page was the absolute basics of RemNode. Now, the benefit of this is that you don't necessarily have to put everything in its place. You don't have to use folders. Everything just gets connected together and that's actually how your brain works and that's actually how you think. So in a way, it's actually good because it helps you link things together and create better ideas out of that. Now, something I wanna talk about is tagging and tagging is actually my preferred way of organizing my notes. So you can see that this Rem references page has been tagged hashtag remno tutorial and if i click into remno tutorial so i'm going to shift click it again so it comes on the other side you can see that this is basically another page but every page that has been tagged with the tag remno tutorial has shown up on this page as a tagged rem now the benefit of this is that you don't have to waste time putting things away into their folders how i use it is while i'm writing something or, or if i come across something that i want to put into a specific area or a specific section i could just tag it right then and there and that's going to automatically go into the page of that tag so over here in the sidebar you can see that i have a page called tag this is basically all the tags that i've used in my remnote knowledge base and you can see that i've used them a lot so what i usually do is i would come to this page to see all the different tags which are essentially sections that i have and i can see everything that relates to it because i've tagged it at that moment to relate to this exact same place so for example we can go into the tag called stoicism and we can see wherever i've tagged the word stoicism so this is from my book notes this is when i was writing notes on the book the obstacle is the way we can see two sections here so practice objectivity and this little uh quote which means what is up to us what is not up to us i related these things to stoicism and instead of wasting time while writing these book notes to put them into folders called stoicism i just tagged them with the word stoicism and they showed up under the tagged rem section the next thing i want to cover is the difference between rems documents and folders there is no inherent difference between all three of them the only difference is that they're just hierarchical structures. A rem is just a bullet point. Technically, everything is a rem in RemNode, but we are going to stick to calling rems bullet points for this comparison. A rem becomes a document when we have tagged it with the tag hashtag document. And we can do this in multiple ways. We can create new documents by themselves, or we can just tag it by hitting shift option command D, or we can just click the little option menu here and then tag it as a document that way. So for me, documents are essentially main sections and main pages and rems or bullet points are the things that come under it for my normal note taking cause. A folder is basically a document which has another document inside it. So this folder is a document and it's just called a folder because it has another document. Something that I touched on earlier earlier was portals. You have two types of portals. You have regular portals here and you have search portals. Regular portals basically allow you to look into another note. The benefit is that everything you change here is going to change on the other side. So this is the rem references page that we went to earlier. So I can type out hello world if I can spell 
And if we go back to the rem references page, you can see that it's changed right there because this is just looking into this page here. Now this can be useful for students because you can look into a main topic from anywhere in your notes. So if you're talking about cardiac physiology and you want to reference back to cardiac anatomy, you can do that if you've made notes on it using portals and everything you change in one section is going to change it everywhere. A source portal is different because it's not necessarily looking into a specific note. It's just looking for things that you have specified. So for example, over here, I'm searching for the tag REM tutorial, which we looked for earlier, and we can see that this REM references page has showed up. The last thing I want to cover is flashcards, which is arguably one of the best features of REM note is the fact that you can take your notes and automatically convert them into flashcards. But it gets a little confusing because there's this whole concept descriptive framework, which I'm going to go over right now. Essentially, a concept is the main topic that you're talking about. So in this example here, the concept is Apple. And the way you make a concept is by typing out the word with a capital letter at the beginning. So we've put that an apple is a fruit. And under that, we have descriptors. Descriptors basically help you understand more things about the concept. They're describing the concept. So for example, taste, sweet, colors, red, green, and yellow. The benefit of using the concept descriptor framework is that you can easily break down your notes into its inherent structures and its core concept and that allows for better understanding that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed this kind of content make sure you subscribe and like this video and i will catch you in the next one goodbye